What's up YouTube? So today I only work 12 to 6, but today's gonna be a cool day because we are doing the unboxing and the setup of my uh I got a new PC, I sold my Alienware. Um, nothing was wrong with this, other than the fact that it was too heavy. But, um, so I bought an Asus VivoBook S510UA. It's got eight gigs of RAM, we're gonna up that to 16, and then it also has a one terabyte hard drive. So we're gonna install a 250 gig SSD into that, along with the one terabyte hard drive. Um, and yeah, so it's gonna be an unboxing, an install, and then um, I'll set it up and we'll run, uh, I'm not gonna run really video editing on it, it'll probably be mainly Lightroom, maybe some really light video edits, like nothing super intense, 4K, 20 minute long interviews that I do for work or anything like that. But um, yeah, so stay tuned, that'll be coming in a little bit. But right now I'm on the way to work. We are going to work till about six o'clock. Um, I have to do a phone call when I get out with uh, Mr. McGill from Interior Festival. Um, got some really cool news I can't share with you, but uh, you can expect to see that next year. Um, and once it's out in public, I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and share it so you guys can take a look at it. But um, yeah, so that's coming too. Later. Remember, I told you you're gonna open this? So I open it. Ooh. So, we got SSD, got some RAM. Now, the computer. It's so tiny. Like, look at that. All right, well, I guess let's, uh, let's break the seal. See, pretty cool. Um, oh, that's so light. See, coming from an Alienware, like, that is, that is super tiny. Um, and don't get me wrong, like, I love my Alienware, but it was just too heavy. Like, lugging that thing around airports, it's not fun, it's not ideal. And the best thing about it is, Alienware had this huge charging brick. That's the brick. Like, you, you can't go wrong. All right, well anyways, I'm gonna open up the back and I'm gonna show you guys where to put um, this stuff, so you guys, can know, okay? All right, guys, so you're gonna start out by unscrewing all the little tiny screws in the back. I mean, you have a whole bunch. That way we can expose the back and we can put, we're gonna put the crucial SSD in. We're gonna put the crucial eight gigabytes of RAM into the computer. I'm gonna take this off. If you can't take the screws out, you obviously shouldn't be working on the computer. And then I'll show you like where they go. So, quick little tidbit, you do have to take off um, the little feet right there, back here too, because there's two more screws that are underneath those, but other than that, this is a piece of cake. So let me take it off, and I'll show you where everything goes. Okay, so it already comes with eight gigs of RAM here, so the RAM is going to go on that side, the SSD is going to go right up in here, and it's actually going to face backwards, so you're going to have, I believe, that side's gonna be facing up, and the side that actually has like the memory on the other side is gonna face down. And for the RAM, I think it only goes in one way anyways, so you can't really mess this up. So yeah, real simple guys. RAM on that side. This is actually Samsung RAM, and it's the uh, DDR4-2400, just like the Crucial. And like I said, on the SSD, so it goes in one way, so you have a little, you have these little 
chips on top. So those are actually gonna go underneath. So you're gonna have the brand label coming up or facing down technically. But now let's, um, I guess let's, whoa, hello Sony. Let's put the cover back on, power it up and turn it on and then you guys will see the, uh, the specs, I guess. All right, moment of truth. I forget where the power button is. No, oh, I'm an idiot. It's right there. First startup. So I've heard that it takes a while to start up, but um, hopefully the SSD fixes that. And I kind of wanted to do an SSD like other hard drive, but um, I don't know. We'll wait on that and we'll see how this one does. Still gotta set it up and all that. But I mean, an Asus, it's a Vivo book. It's got an i5. It's really like I don't want anything too fancy. This is perfect. I know I'm gonna miss gaming a little bit, but I mean sacrificing weight to have this so I can carry around in an airport and not have my shoulder hurt, like, that's okay with me. But anyways, let's set it up and we'll see, uh, we'll see how it works, how it performs. All right, YouTube, so install went pretty good. Um, the computer did take forever to start up the first time that I used it, but um, once I, I guess what's it called? Um, I guess I formatted the SSD for the computer. But yeah, once I did that, like, the startup time is about 15 seconds instead of about a minute and a half. So SSD really does help. Um, it kind of makes me really want to go and put um, an SSD from my main drive. But I don't want to go spend, like, 260 bucks on a one terabyte um, main hard drive. So I'm probably not going to do that. But the computer runs great, like... I'm going to upload this to Premiere right now and start editing and then I've done some photo editing already and it's, it's really nice so overall I'm going to give the Asus Vivo book with the i5 uh, thumbs up. Super easy to upgrade too and inexpensive, inexpensive as hell to be honest. The computer itself was 510 bucks and then everything else was... Like I spent a total of $700 on it, and the only thing that it's missing um, as far as like performance wise is the fact that it doesn't have like a GTX. So, I mean, it's not bad. It still runs, it still does its thing. I haven't tried gaming on it, I haven't downloaded Steam to it, so I'll download Steam probably today, sometime later, and um, see how, we'll play Steep. Let's see how Steep runs on it, because Steep was like, I don't know why, it's my favorite game to play on my Alienware, and I think it's just because like I can, it lets me relax, because you're just snowboarding or skiing or, you know, doing whatever, so, yeah, we'll play, uh, we'll play Steep later, and we'll see how it comes out, but anyways, overall, I want to give it a thumbs up, I'm pretty easy to install, super inexpensive, you all want to get one, any questions, comments, leave them down below. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and hit that notification bell, so, uh, or, it's, I think it's on that side. It's one, it's one of the two. Anyways, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see you next time.